All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Peace, love, and salutations to the Akim out there laboring of the hopeful elect that's doing this work in truth and sincerity. And um, as you know, you know, pretty much um, the voices out there of these uh, women pretty much uh, crashing out, so to speak. You know, these so-called uh, uh, feminist ideologies um, are realizing um, that their hopes and, and dreams um, of a woman getting in office uh, pretty much has been dashed to pieces. And they're pretty much on, you know, social media um, of speaking of their disdain uh, chiefly for the Judite man, you Negro man, men, pretty much um, uh, for the outcome uh, of this election. Now, I have here um, um, this individual by the name of the Angry Man. Um, he pretty much has some good content. And um, he's going to bring up a, a, a striking dynamic uh, to the situation uh, uh, that's going on here in Babylon with these women. And um, this is for the women that pretty much um, are joined on to that feminist movement, you know, pretty much uh, college educated or, you know, pretty much got the, you know, the good job and even ones that pretty much have the mediocre job, you know, that pretty much uh, are, are running their own household uh, with a, a motley crew of uh, of uh, misfits. All right. You see, because uh, these children, these menstruous women are bringing forth monsters and that's pretty much if they even make it uh, 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 to the full cycle of, of bringing them into the earth. But we know that these women are like the uh, uh, like the scriptures say, uh, 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 like the ostrich. You know, the the lot and the ostrich, ostrich is a, a clumsy animal, and uh, she pretty much the ostrich pretty much uh, crushes uh, the eggs of the young ones for being so clumsy and and, and uh, careless, so to speak. And these women are pretty much uh, 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 very careless, you know. You know these are uh, these are uh, sorority uh, circle of sisters, you know mentality. You know where you know egoism a pretty much, you know uh, free range to uh, you know make it in here. You know in the society, you know through you know job opportunities, because when you look at these uh, these uh, when you look at these uh, pretty much these corporate buildings. Uh, in, in any various downtown areas, uh, the name, the main dynamic of, of people that you see in there is pretty much Esau and the, the nigger woman, so to speak. You know, you're focusing on the tribe of Judah, uh, uh, chiefly right now, you know, because uh, they pretty much are putting themselves out there on the forefront of um, a rebellion against Yahweh Bashim Abu Shai. And the women of the other tribes, which is you Latino and Native American women, uh, pretty much follow suit behind them, you know. And um, these women are pretty much a bunch of hypocrites because these same women, you know, these women, uh, you know, pretty much uh, that may be successful or, or, you know, just pretty much here, just making it here in Babylon, you know, uh, consider themselves uh, Christians, you know. These are the ones that pretty much uh, uh, dotted up, you know, on a weekend. And then on Sunday, they want to pretty much uh, uh, sober themselves up and go to church. You see? Okay. And then you have these women that are in these churches, man. And pretty much, uh, you know, the Lord has a, a, a serious judgment uh, against them because they, they, cause they are hypocrites. But, um. Without further ado, I'm going to play this clip and then uh, we're going to talk about it on the other side. This election. <laughs> Yo, I just thought about something. God definitely has a sense of humor. Do you realize back in 2020, Joe Biden won the election with 20 million more votes than Kamala Harris just got? Now, why that group of people chose to sit this election out, I have absolutely no idea. Wink, wink. But here's the interesting thing. To all 
all the black people that's mad that she lost, do you realize that 20 million is the exact number of babies you've gotten rid of through Planned Parenthood? That's 20 million souls that would be of voting age right now that could have won you this election. <laughs> And that's pretty much the gist of it, you know, and these women are, are pretty much uh, call themselves Christians, you see, okay, and, and, and pretty much, you know, this is what the, the administration that they are uh, pretty much emotionally investing wholeheartedly, uh, you know, these uh, perverseness, okay, is what they pretty much are, 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 are representing, okay, all right. Now, there's always there's a saying, you know, that goes, uh, the proverb, right, that says, when in Rome, do as the Romans do, which pretty much means it's a, it's a polite, it is a polite and advantage, advantage to follow the customs of the people in place, in a place where you are visiting, or pretty much in a place where you are uh, uh, captive, so to speak. Okay, you see, and you sitting here crying and complaining about you know this whole talk about going back into slavery. You are already already in captivity. Okay, you already are behind enemy lines, and you have no choice but to pretty much uh, do the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai at the end of the day. Okay, you see, all right. But the Lord set up men to pretty much reprove you 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 wicked women, man. All right, real quick, let's get um. Let's get Sirach, chapter 25, um, verse 25 in the GNT. Sin began with a woman, and we must all die because of her. Okay, you know, when you're pretty much going back to the, uh, you know, the garden, you know, where Eve was uh, pretty much the first transgressor. Okay, and we pretty much from there fell from grace, so to speak. You know, but uh, pretty much in the time now. You know, the Lord set up his men to pretty much reprove the people, man. You know, and we'll put the, pull this up real quick. This is, um, I'm going to read a, a few verses down. This is Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. Okay, it's the people before a place. Okay, all right. Speaking about you Israelites. All right. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. You know, okay? And the Lord said that they that, have the mark be set on men that are sighing and crying, man. Okay? All right? All right? These these things that are going on right now in the earth, man, are, are pretty much, pretty much uh, abominations, man. Okay? All you got to do is turn on social media, man. Okay? And you're seeing where... The woman is pretty much uh, totally out of order, man. Okay? And when, you know, the saying always goes, when you want to look at a destroyed nation, all you got to do is look no further than the, the state of the women. Okay? And the women are, 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 are all, all ratchet as hell. Okay? You know, the, the, the whole ratchetness is, is the new norm, so to speak. Okay, here in Babylon. Okay, and it says, and to the others, he said, in my hearing, go ye after, after him through the midst of the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. They have began at the ancient men, which were before the house, you know, and pretty much, man, you know, these women are, are uh, you know, uh, having themselves in this type of uh, 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 position of, of power. OK, as far as heading the household, you know, OK, and, and it just goes to show you how much of a hypocrite they are and how much they are. Their heart is far from the Lord. You see? Right? And it says, 
And it came to pass while they were slaying them. And I left and I fell upon my face and cried. Okay, Ezekiel. And said, Ah, Lord, power, wilt thou destroy all the residue of Israel in thy pouring out of the fury upon Jerusalem? Then he said unto me, The iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceedingly great. Speaking about both the northern and southern kingdom and speaking chiefly to you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? All right? And it said, slay utterly old, young, maids, and little children. Okay? All right? So it's speaking of, and women. You see? Okay? So it says, right? He said unto me, the iniquity of the house of Israel and of Judah is exceedingly great. And the land is full of blood and a city full of perverseness. And this is because of the, at the helm of the, the so-called woman at being the head of the household, man. Okay? You know? Look at the children that's being raised. Just look at the, the, the uh, when you want to just look at generation uh, uh, Gen Z. Look at Gen Z kids. When you just look at them as a whole, they all look like uh, uh, bugged out cartoon characters, man. Okay? They, they got this, this 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 weirdo look on their face. They dress like a bunch of weirdos. You know, they got the, the weirdo hairstyles. You know, okay? All right? This is what they're raising, man. You see? All right? And they're a bunch of, uh, 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 of, of uh, misfits, man. Okay? Causing terror throughout all of these cities, man. All right? And it says, right? The city, the land is full of blood and the city full of perverseness. For they say, the Lord hath forsaken the earth and the Lord seeth not. And as for me also, my eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense their way upon their head. You see? Okay, and the scriptures talk about, man, that, that, that they're fully set to do evil because no, there's no uh, judgment that has been set. You see? All right? But the Lord is pretty much, it's going to pretty much make do, okay, on uh, thin in the herd, so to speak. Okay? On you jakes out there, you women, chiefly, man. Okay? All right? Because you pretty much are, are the Lord's enemy. All right? Pursuant to, the, to Micah. Okay? All right? From there, let's go to Isaiah chapter 65. Let's start at verse 2. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people. Which walketh in the way that is not good after their own thoughts. You know? Okay, we're speaking about the whole rebellious nation, but chiefly you women, because you women are really uh, uh, out of order. Okay? And we're seeing the whole rebelliousness that you are, are upholding. Okay? All right? But real quick, I want to pull up. Pull up this video real quick. Uh, where uh, pretty much DJ Trump just uh, was speaking, okay. Going to play a little bit, little bit of it, okay. And this is go pretty much going into, all right, uh, what he, he he's trying to basically undo, as far as uh, with this administration that's already in power, okay. So without any further ado, let's play a little bit of this. Stop the chemical, physical, and emotional mutilation of our youth. On day one, I will revoke Joe Biden's cruel policies on so-called gender-affirming care. Ridiculous. A process that includes giving kids puberty blockers, mutating their physical appearance, and ultimately performing surgery on minor children. Can you believe this? I will sign a new executive order instructing every federal agency to cease all programs that promote the concept of sex and gender transition at any age. I will then ask Congress to permanently stop federal taxpayer dollars from being used to promote or pay for these procedures and pass a law prohibiting child sexual mutilation in all 50 states. It'll go very quickly. I will declare that any hospital or health care provider that participates in the chemical or physical mutilation of minor youth will no longer meet federal health and safety standards for Medicaid and Medicare 
and will be terminated from the program immediately. Furthermore, I will support the creation of a private right of action for victims to sue doctors who have unforgivably performed these procedures on minor children. The Department of Justice will investigate Big Pharma and the big hospital networks to determine whether they have deliberately covered up horrific long-term side effects of sex transitions in order to get rich at the expense of vulnerable patients, in this case, very vulnerable. We will also investigate whether Big Pharma or others have illegally marketed hormones and puberty blockers, which are in no way licensed or approved for this use. My Department of Education will inform states and school districts that if any teacher or school official suggests to a child that they could be trapped in the wrong body, they will be faced with severe consequences, including potential civil rights violations for sex discrimination and the elimination of federal funding. As part of our new credentialing body for teachers, we will promote positive education about the nuclear family, the roles of mothers and fathers, and celebrating rather than erasing the things that make men and women different and unique. I will ask Congress to pass a bill establishing that the only genders recognized by the United States government are male and female, and they are assigned at birth. The bill will also make clear that Title IX prohibits men from participating in women's sports, and we will protect the rights of parents from being forced to allow their minor child to assume a gender which is new and an identity without the parent's consent. The identity will not be new, and it will not be without parental consent. No serious country should be telling its children that they were born with the wrong gender, a concept that was never heard of in all of human history. Nobody's ever heard of this, what's happening today. It was all when the radical left invented it just a few years ago. Under my leadership, this madness will end. Thank you very much. I plan to... And this is what the nigger woman is, is, is pretty much uh, 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 representing, okay? All right? Everything that this man, okay? And and, and, and we, it's not saying we we're for or against this man and anything else like that, though. We, we, listen, we for Yah, um, Yahweh Bashir and Shai. But at the end of the day, the women are defending everything that this man is trying to basically undo now, all right? That you have seen in the, within the school system with the children these past four years, man. Okay, so now you're seeing, all right, how much of a demon that these women have on them, man. All right, and what they're wholeheartedly trying to stand up for and, and, and fight for. Okay, you see, all right, that's perverseness, man. All right, and it says, I have spread out my hand all the day unto a rebellious people which walketh in a way that is not good after their own thoughts. A people that provoke me to anger continually to my face, that sacrificeth in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick, which remain among the graves in the lodge in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things in their vessels. And you women are the most abominable eaters on the planet. Okay? You, you nigger women, you pretty much are the ones that keep, uh, uh, the franchise of of uh, Red Lobster open, okay, all right. You've been keeping that place, that failing business of a, of a, of abomination. You've been keeping it in business for all these years, man. Okay, all right. All of these all you can eat seafood spots. Well, what do you see there, man? Okay, who's who's the main customers of these places, man? You nigger woman, man. Okay, all kinds of, of abominable things that you consume, man, and you call yourself Christians, man. Okay, you see, all right, it says, right, and these are people, right, that are doing all these things, right, uh, and, 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 and pretty much sacrificing their own children, right, and would say, stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. Behold, it is written before me. I will not keep silent, but I will recompense, even recompense into their bosom. Okay? And, and, and judgment is coming for you women, man. All right? The whole, uh, 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 holier than thou, the whole 
uh, 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 run of, of, of this whole feminism is going to come to an end, man. Okay? The Lord is bringing back uh, the masculinity of men. Okay? All right? And, tr and trying to put things in order. But we also know that there's going to be pushback, man. Okay? We know that Satan is operating on uh, 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 all levels, man. Okay? And, and Eve, okay, all right, is pretty much fully on board with Satan's agenda at the end of the day, man. Okay? You see? All right? And what does Solomon say, man? Out of all the women, man, out of a thousand women, man, he not, did not, not find one that was righteous, man. You know? Okay? So, pretty much, we're going to see how this thing unfolds and transpires, and we're going to see how much more wicked these women are, man. Because what are they really are, are fighting for? Okay? They're fighting for perverseness. You see? All right? They want things to continue just the way things are, man. And this is just another reason why this place got to go, man. And the Lord is at, 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 at the control. Okay? The Lord is at the helm. And, and it, hey, it's, the Lord's going to do his thing, man. You know? All right? So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, Shalom.